Welcome back to my Chanel car updater where we bring the skies to your screen. If you love powerful jets, cutting edge tech, and the stories behind the world's most advanced aircraft, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to never miss an upload. In the world of fighter jets, names like the F-16, MIG-29, and Rafale often dominate the conversation. But rising steadily from the Indian subcontinent is a jet that's not just a symbol of national pride, but a serious contender in modern aerial warfare, the HAL Tejas. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the Tejas is India's indigenous answer to a long-standing need for a lightweight, multi-role combat aircraft. Born out of the light combat aircraft program initiated in the 1980s, Tejas has taken decades of development, setbacks, and breakthroughs to finally become a frontline fighter of the Indian Air Force. At first glance, Tejas may not look intimidating, but don't let its compact design fool you. This single engine, Delta Wing Jet is a powerhouse of speed, agility, and advanced avionics. Capable of reaching speeds over Mach 1.8 and with a combat range of nearly 500 kilometers, the Tejas is built for air superiority, ground attack, and close combat, all in one sleek platform. Its design is tailored for high maneuverability, low radar signature, and minimal maintenance. The use of composite materials, over 90% of the airframe, gives it both strength and stealth, while keeping it light enough to dogfight with the best. With fly-by-wire controls, a glass cockpit, and an advanced radar system, Tejas is truly a 21st century jet. One of the standout features of the Tejas is its adaptability. It can be outfitted with a wide variety of weapons, air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, laser-guided bombs, and even precision munitions. Its radar warning systems and countermeasures make it a nimble predator in hostile skies. But it's not just about what it carries, it's about what it represents. For decades, India depended heavily on foreign suppliers for its defense needs. Tejas is a statement of self-reliance, innovation, and engineering capability. It's not perfect. It had teething issues, delays, and criticisms, but it's flown past them, literally. The Indian Air Force has already inducted several squadrons of Tejas under the Flying Daggers, Banner, and more are on the way. A naval version is also under development, designed to operate from aircraft carriers, giving India more flexibility in maritime operations. As the global defense market shifts, more countries are taking notice of Tejas. With its competitive cost, reliable performance, and customization potential, it's not just a national asset, it's a global player in the making. And the journey doesn't stop here. The Tejas MK-1A is in production with upgraded radar, electronic warfare capabilities, and better maintainability. Further down the line, the Tejas MK-2 is expected to be even more powerful, bridging the gap toward India's upcoming fifth-generation fighter, the AMCA. For a country that once relied almost entirely on imports, Tejas is a bold statement, India can build world-class fighter jets, on its own terms. The skies are no longer the limit, they're just the beginning. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the HAL Tejas and want more stories from the world of aviation, make sure to hit that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to Car Updater. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.